When I was 21 What's up guys, welcome back to another MLB The Show 17 Diamond Dynasty video. You already know what's about to go down, we have another new debut to the ranked season squad. So we've been debuting a bunch of new players from all over the field, you know we've been debuting second baseman, first baseman, catchers, third baseman, new outfielders, and today we have another guy who's falling into that outfielder category. This guy has already been used on the channel in one specific video in my 2018 free agents team build, he was on that squad. But now we're gonna give him his official debut, like his own video, his own focus. If you guys can see the title of the video, you know who I'm talking about. We're debuting 92 overall Lorenzo Cain. This is a 2015 All-Star flashback. You get this card from completing the Royals Team Epic. And I don't know why it took me so long to get him. I've had the Royals collection done for months. I don't know, I guess I just didn't want to sit down and actually grind against the CPU to actually get this card. But he's kind of an interesting card, so let's take a look at what he's got. 7997 contact with 5091 power, so he's going to be much better if there's a lefty on the mound. But it just seems like for everything that he excels at, he's just kind of poor at on the other side. So he's really good at hitting lefties but he's not very good at hitting righties and then when you go to the fielding you know he's got 93 fielding he's gonna track down almost every fly ball for you with that 90 speed but he's got no arm strength and no arm accuracy 68 strength and 70 accuracy but I feel like this card is like the ultimate trade-off it's like all right you either get good contact against one side I mean 79 is not that bad but I mean it's not 97 91 against lefties so hopefully it won't be too much of a factor maybe we can face a lefty today that'd be pretty sweet if we could do that for his debut but we'll just have to wait and see who we get as far as the rest of the squad it's gonna look mainly the same we move trout over to right field and we have Kane now in left uh, Andre Dawson is just completely off the 25-man roster for this game. We're also giving Eddie Matthews another go-around here at third base, so maybe he can have a little bit of a better game because in his debut, I did go 0 for 5 with him. And then I still have my uh, five hardware starting pitchers because I'm still working on this Joe Random Player Epic, and I am 90 strikeouts away from finishing the Vita Blue portion, which is still a good amount, but it's not 300. So I think I've talked about everything I need to talk about as far as Lorenzo Kane's debut and what the rest of the squad looks like. I think it's now time to get into a ranked seasons game. See if we can get another win. Let's go. All right, guys, we're taking on the New Jersey Wildcats. He, of course, has Lou Brock. Uh, creative player, 96 Votto, Turner, Blackman, Buddy Bell, Jose Ramirez, 92 Buster Posey, and we're facing the postseason 94 overall Burt Blylevin. Don't know if I faced this card. I do have him because I had him for a specific reason, which I will tell you in a future video. This is also the last night to make World Series, which I really don't care about. I'm fine with being in CS, but, you know, figured I might make a little bit of a push. He's 24 and 18. We're 28 and 18. So we've both lost 18 games. Oh my God. Lou Brock hit the hell out of that. And Mike Trout can't catch it. You better get it in. He's going to get to third. Of course, Lou Brock. Wow, he only stayed a second. Either way, Lou Brock is still so annoying. Can we have a hashtag Lou Brock is over party? Can we just get him out of here? He's going to steal third and he's easily going to get in there. Tim Coogs can't throw him out. Nobody can throw him out. You could have a 99 arm strength. You're not throwing that guy out. Change up low. Down the line, it's going to score him. It's Lou Brock, man. If he gets on base, he's scoring 100% of the time. Two strikes on Turner. Come on. Yes, we got him with the changeup. That's a strikeout. Need that. Tim Coogs, first pitch of the game. No, Lou Brock, go away. Or I think that's his creative player. I don't know. But we're still going to get in there at second base. Atta baby, Tim Coogs. Way to press the freaking right fielder to make him get it in quick. Griffey. 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 Is that going to stay in play or get out of play? I can't tell. He caught that? Bro, miss me with that. Oh, my God. I can't believe that didn't get out of play. All right. It's basically just a sack fly, though. Gets him to third base. Here we go. Base runner comes around, and just like Lou Brock, your 99 speed gets on base. My 99 speed gets on base. Let's get it. So here is Lorenzo Cain's first at bat. We are facing a righty, and remember, the contact is 79 against righties, which isn't too bad. But, I mean, we're not going to really do anything crazy. We're not going to hit a home run or anything like that. But I would like to see Lorenzo Cain get an RBI in his first ranked seasons at bat for me. That'd be pretty cool. We're already in a hitter's count, which is good, at 2-1. Mike Trout's on second. So you just put a ball in the outfield. He's most likely going to score. Come on, Cain. Come on, Cain. That is it. That is a really good swing. But, you know, right to him. That's not even a bad at bat, in my opinion. That's a really good at bat. Put a great swing on that ball. Just won't get down. Here we go, Lorenzo Cain. Here we go. Look how small the ball marker is. Like, 
That's how easy it is for him defensively. Like, obviously, if the ball marker, like, ball marker gets bigger, it's going to be a tougher catch to make. But his is always going to stay really small because he's just so friggin' good out there. Look at Burt Ball. I-11 rolling over to Ed Matthews across the diamond. Too easy of a play. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Don't let him get on. Don't let him get on. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can't stand Lou Brock. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ken Griffey Jr. Dude, if that doesn't leave the yard, that's an absolute crime. Let's go, Griffey. Way to swing on that fastball and not miss it. Dude, that barely got out, too. That was kind of scary. He was really close to catching that ball. Let's see, how close was he actually to catching this ball right here? Because that barely got out. Ah, he was still a little bit away. He wasn't going to make that play. There you go, ball four. Carlos Beltran keeps the third inning alive for a two-out rally for Lorenzo Cain. Hopefully, Lorenzo Cain can make something happen, and it's a base hit down the line. Out of baby Lorenzo. We're going to stay at first and second because we still got big bats coming up. High and end fastball just didn't quite get it high enough. We were able to take advantage of it. Come on, Eddie Matthews. You are like 0 for 6 for me in ranked seasons. Make that 0 for 7. I absolutely suck with this card. I absolutely suck with Eddie Matthews. You're not going to see much of him from me, I don't think. Woo. Really good hit fly ball right there. Jesus, I don't even know who that was at the plate. It might have been his creative player. Another deep fly ball to center field. You just can't get it to go like a little bit harder off the bat. Just not quite getting the exact sweet spot. Oh my god. That is three deep fly balls on three consecutive swings. Man. Scary fourth inning, but a light one. Uh, except for Charlie Blackman. Oh, man. Oh, we have so many opportunities to score. The fact that this is still a tie game is honestly frustrating, but it is what it is. Good swing from Charlie Blackman. So we got a tie game on our hands in the fifth inning, guys. 2-2, two -two, nobody on, nobody out for Griffey. Oh, where's the check swing, man? I barely even pressed the button. But I feel like we can have a breakthrough inning here at some point, especially if he keeps this Burt Bly 11 in. His fastball is extremely straight, and the breaking pitch is really easy to recognize off the, the release point. So I think we just got to get a couple base runners, and we just need one big swing. We need somebody to drive in like a three-run home run. That's a good pitch right there. Luckily, Ken Griffey Jr. ain't going to miss it. Let's go. Lead off base runner on. Oh, my God, dude. What more do I got to do? That ball's down the middle, and I squared that thing up. Like, boys, what more do I got to do to get some success at the plate? Oh, he just hit Carlos Beltran in the face. And that puts uh, two guys on for Lorenzo Kane, the debut man. Come on, Kane. You got a huge opportunity to break this game wide open. Not really. Maybe by three runs at the most, but you got an opportunity to put some runs on the board for the squad in your debut. Let's see you show out right here, bro. There you go. Good eye. 2-1 count. He's going to have to throw you a fastball at some point in the zone. And it's going to be right there. Get down the line. Oh, Lorenzo Kane. He sneaks it past the third baseman, and that's going to be an easy double for him. Please get in there at third, Trout. And he does Lorenzo Kane with the go-ahead RBI here in the fifth inning. Altuve, deep, deep, deep. Stay fair if you're going out. No. Lou Brock, can you just leave and go home? Stop doing this to me. God, it's always Lou Brock who crushes my soul every game. Two strikes to Posey. Uh-oh, bat slider. Oh, 45 speed, you got this. Come on, Kane, I know you got a noodle arm. Ah, never mind, he's got a noodle arm. God dang it, of course. The one time Lorenzo Cain has to make a play on defense. It's a freaking sack fly, and he has to throw home. Oh, the f that's what I'm saying, man. He's a trade-off. He'll give you such good speed in the outfield, but once our runner tries to go on him, it's too easy for him, man. God dang it. Tie game again. All right, two outs in the seventh, guys. Nobody on. Lorenzo Cain needs to start a two-out rally right here against this Raleigh Fingers card, and we swung first pitch, and that's an easy play for the shortstop. Oh, bros. Three runs should be a lot more. There you go, Jose Altuve. One out base hit here in the eighth inning, boys. Now we got Jimmy Rollins up. We know the damage that Jimmy Rollins can do as well. Uh, high and inside pitch. Back at it, boys. Can Chuck Nasty, the 94 overall, get this run across and give us a lead in the ninth inning, or will we have to try and walk it off in the ninth? Because... 
Doesn't look like we're swinging the bats too well right now. It wasn't down the middle, but it is in the gap. 87 speed on his creative player. We're going to get to third out of it. We're going to have, have him at the corners. We'll be at the corners, boys. Let's go. Tim Cook's now up. That ball is going to get down. Tim Cook's is going to be the hero here in the bottom of the eighth, scoring that run. We are now going to get home, and I made him throw to third. Keeps the inning going. Let's go, Tim Cook's. Way to clutch up and give us two RBIs. And now we are going to have a lead going into the top of the ninth. There we go. Sinker got him to pop up. Nice. Lorenzo Cain, fitting. Makes the grab. One down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness he didn't take advantage of my missed spot. Two down. One more out. We haven't won this game yet. I do have to still get this last out, so I got to be careful. Eddie Matthews. Oh, please don't make an error, Eddie Matthews. You're already going to be out of my lineup anyway. At least just finish strong. Thank you. That was a fun game, guys. It took a while for our bats to get going, and I don't really think they ever really did get going that well. Only five runs to show for. 11 hits is nice. But Lorenzo Kane, man, two for four with a double and an RBI. He had that go-ahead run in the fifth inning, I believe. I think it was. Yeah, the fifth inning. That was a nice hit by him. I got to say, Lorenzo Kane. I like his batting stance. I like how fluid his swing feels. You know, there's some guys on this game where I'm just not good with them. I'm not comfortable with their batting stance. Ed Matthews, for example. But I actually kind of like Lorenzo Cain's stance. I don't know if that means he'll be a bench player for me or not, but I could definitely see him, or I could definitely see myself using him in the future. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about this Lorenzo Cain card down in the comments. Do you like him? Do you use him? What do you think? Subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss any more MLB The Show content. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.